So there was this guy, right, and his name was Juggling Jim, and he lived in a town called Kings Lynn. Sorry, didn't mean that to rhyme. This is also a bit of a weird angle, but we're going to work with it. Originally, I wanted to do this story because it's Christmas time, and as you saw in the previous hat, Juggling Jim used to wear a Christmas hat, but not only did he wear it around Christmas, he did actually wear it throughout the year. This kind of, like, thing. Uh, but because it's Christmas, I thought, what perfect, what better time to celebrate a local icon who people have kind of forgotten. The locals haven't forgotten, we haven't forgotten him, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have made this video, would I? Now, there's a lot of mystery about uh, Juggling Jim, or otherwise known as his real name, Anthony Bowen, other than the fact that rumours that surround him. I can only say on my behalf, when I was younger, it was a rumour was that he was secretly used to be rich, but then that's quite a lot with homeless people I've noticed throughout the years. Not sure how true that was, but he had somehow lost his family, including his children, and had become mad and homeless because of it. But then other people had said that he had lost his family the opposite round. But from further inspection, it's not just you know, even people that are related to him or had been left related to him. Ha there's mystery about it, really. But what we do know is that he was found dead at the age of 64 of pneumonia outside the spot, well, outside, in the place that he used to sleep, sorry, I was about to say the spot that he used to play at, but it wasn't that. But that's really just the fact that no one really knows much about him is the saddest bit of it. And it really is something that was quite poignant to me just because obviously suffering from mental health issues and had been homeless at one point. It's just really sad to see someone let down so much by the government, really, because the county that he's from, or that I lived in, is notorious for not helping people in that situation, as myself and many people that were around my age at that time know, and probably still now. However, I, do, I am aware that they have started doing a bit more towards it. But yeah, Rest in peace to Juggling Jim or Anthony Bowen and his any relatives that remain. And also, can we please remember the homeless people over this season, New Year and Christmas? It's cold and terrible and people really, you know, it's the time to look after each other. Uh, need I say more?